The next one that can come up, and, and you may have heard this, is a subject to sale clause. Now, usually you'll only see this in a buyer's market. No, sell. sell oh, yeah, sorry, a buyer's market. market. <laughs> I'm getting myself all confused. <laughs> You probably never see it, Veronica. <laughs> oh, no, we never actually see this at all, ever. Yeah, um, so subject to sale is where um, maybe the owner isn't getting much interest in their property and someone comes along and says, look, I, I do want to buy it, but I have to sell my house first. I can't actually do the purchase without selling and I have to make sure that I get a buyer from my place before, but I want to make sure that you don't sell this to someone else. And it's only where there's really no other buyers around that a seller might consider accepting this kind of condition. <laughs> I'll tell you what, in the UK, in, in London, there can be an absolute lineup of subject to sales. Um, it, it, the most I've they seen. They call it a chain. They have a chain in the mm. UK, which is just so, but it must be so tricky to manage. Oh where every single purchase is subject to the sale of right down to the very last one, which is usually the first home buyer who hasn't got anything to sell. So, you know, their entire chain is dependent on every one of those properties settling. So It's a nightmare. Imagine putting your, your life on hold. <laughs> you know, even in a rising market, that's how they do it. You know, so it's like imagine if prices are rising and you're stuck in a chain and you're just hoping against hope that nobody in that chain falls over yeah. because when they do, the whole thing collapses. It's going to start from scratch. Every <gasps> one of them falls <gasps> over. Um, and, and the reason that people might put this on a contract as a condition is so they don't get stuck with two houses. You know, not. Oh, yeah. There are, there are not many people who could pay for two houses if they purchased settled and hadn't actually sold their original property <laughs> so it's it's making sure you don't get yourself into a bit of a financial pickle